Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexa Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up or sunny Sunday? I totally forgot today's I mean, this video, it's Sunday. Hello, hi. As you can tell, I'm getting in the fall vibes. I mean, I'm wearing a sweater in 90 degree weather, so. And lately, every time I've been going to the thrift store, I just haven't been finding that many like sweaters or jackets. So today I'm going to really try to specifically thrift some fall items because once it actually becomes kind of cold, they're all gonna be gone. So you gotta start early. Also, one of you guys actually messaged me and were like, are you going to the, I think it's like 45% off denim sale at savers and i was like wait a second excuse me i don't think this will be like a specifically dedicated denim thrifting video just because this one doesn't always have the best denim but at the same time i still kind of want to like take a look and if there's a discount why not i'm just excited to go on in have some fun get more sweaters hopefully all right so it's definitely quite busy today so i'm first going to start out in the jeans it is 45 percent off so i'm gonna just start there since that is gonna have the discount first some overalls i mean they're okay they're i don't really love red so when it comes to jeans i'm pretty sure i've said it before i usually don't look through every single one i just feel every single one like the texture just because for me i'm always looking for more of a mom jean so i like it to be like a structured jean and like i can usually tell quite quickly just by feeling the material These are interesting. and it's not like i need more denim it's just like why wouldn't i at least take a look if it's 45% off These ones are a really nice material, but the style of it and also the size wouldn't fit me, so I'm going to say no. Ooh. These Faded Glory ones are definitely a maybe. The color of the denim and the feel of the denim is like really nice. I just found, I just found these brown Wrangler jeans, and although I'm not really sure how I feel about tan and brown pants, these are really nice, and they're $4.79 with then a discount. Like, I have to at least try them. <laughs> New Levi's here. Well, these are fascinating. I found overalls. That's crazy, I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Cool part is now, since I have a sewing machine, anything I find that's like a little bit oversized, I know I can just sew it, which is like super exciting. Okay, so I wasn't gonna go in the dresses because I was like, it's supposed to be a fall video, but I couldn't help myself. It was on the way to the sweaters. I feel like this is more pajamas because it's super see-through, but it's actually really cute. Okay, we first are going to go into the jackets because I have a jacket that's eyeing me right now. is $20, my gosh. I mean, talk about a fall dress. Finally, sweater time. I think it's so kind of crazy that they only have one rack filled with sweaters. I guess maybe they don't have as many donations. Obviously, I live in Southern California, so like we already don't really have that many sweaters because we don't really need to, so we'll see how this goes. It's only four dollars, my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, it's got cats on it. Oh my God, I got it just like dry it on, it's so adorable. Sweater wise, didn't go that great, so now I'm just going through literally every single section and going from there. I made it into the dress room. I'm actually quite surprised all the stuff I got. I have obviously more in my cart. I'm just gonna go with 
these first these are like I feel the most fall that I found these pants and we'll just see how they do so this one is originally from Shein and it says it's in a large and I think it it kind of does fit in like a large it is a little bit oversized I ended up crossing the back like straps um and it is just a little bit loose in the back but overall i think it's really cute i'm not sure how i feel about the suspender thing like i would prefer like more of an overall look but i just feel like it's very fall with like a sweater or an oversized like band tee i don't have anything really like this sadly these jeans do not work they i couldn't make them high rise but the thing is then they make like a camel toe pretty intensely and they're like boot cut so they aren't my favorite so i'm not gonna get them i did go for the brown Wrangler jeans but I am telling you they reek so bad that I was like I can't put this on my body so they are no they're really cute I'm sure if I wash them they would be fine but like they, they reek so bad these overalls they are perfect I wish they were part of the jean sale obviously they're made with jean but they aren't jeans but yes 100% yesterday I found some amazing overalls as well so I don't know what's going on but very excited about this so I'm going to try on this jacket. I mean for five dollars like this is really nice. This sweater is originally from Charlotte Russe. And it's okay. I don't really like the v-neck. So I went into the lingerie section and I found this corset which is actually just so cute. I wish it was just a shirt to be honest. I didn't realize corsets are like really tight. I mean obviously that's like the whole point of it. Okay, I don't know how people do this. I think if it was maybe in a bigger size because I really like the style. I feel like it's kind of like trendy right now with the corset look but maybe not an actual corset. Oh my god, my boobs are like just so flat. I can't not get the cat shirt. It's so cute. We're doing it again. Pants are not coming off. I don't know how I feel about it. It says it's a large, but it definitely, it, it actually fits. But I just don't know if I like it that much. I'm not really sure what it is. It's like a coat jacket thing. So it's been quite a bit later. I ended up thrifting for a full five hours. After I finished up at Savers, I went to Goodwill and then I went to Plato's Closet and now it's just, it's here. I I need to be stopped. Also, I was wearing a sweater in 100 degree weather and I was like trying to figure out why I was so hot. And then I was like, yeah, everyone probably thinks I'm a little bit crazy. We'll start out with the things I got from Savers first since that was the main thing that you guys have seen. First thing I ended up getting, which is just, you know, it's a curveball. It doesn't really make any sense. I just really wanted it. It is this cat jean button up, you know, there's not too much going on with it. I love cats if you didn't know. I don't have a cat, unfortunately, hopefully sometime soon, but it just has on the sides these cats and there's just something about funky t-shirts with animals on them and just funky things with animals that just like really gets me. It was $6.49 and it's originally from a company called Bobby Brooks and I just thought it was made really well. I'll probably wear it with denim, tuck it in, all that jazz. I think altogether I ended up spending like $40 at Saber. The next thing I got were these short overalls. I said during the thrifting part, I've been finding so many short overalls. I went thrifting yesterday with Leah and Carrie and I found these short overalls that are just amazing that you'll see next Sunday. But these ones, ugh, they're it's just so good. I can't say no to a good pair of overalls. They are originally from a company called Honors and they do say they're in a large and they just fit, they fit so grand. They were $7.99 and Here's the thing, you can wear them with sweaters. So I'm like kind of summery, kind of not summery. I would love to find some different like Disney patches that actually work. Cause every time I try to get patches at Joanne Fabrics, they never work out and kind of like patch them right there. Cause I see those all the time and I'm like, oh, I really want it. But they're always very expensive, especially on Poshmark and Depop. And I forgot that I can just do that. I don't have to specifically buy a Disney one to put Disney patches on overalls, especially with all the overalls that I own. Then I ended up getting the suspender overalls just because this plaid, it's just so cool. It's like orange. I think it's dark blue and it just was full on fall. It's originally from Shein and it was $5.49. Also, I'm definitely guilty during the fall winter time just opting for sweaters, sweatshirts, big t-shirts, all of that. And I really have been experimenting with my style a lot. I kind of want to incorporate that into fall. So I feel like this is just another piece that 
I have never really styled, even though I have a bunch of overalls. It's just a little bit different. It does also have pockets, which is always a good time. And then I got a jacket, which I just realized it has a really weird like stain on it. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna wash it, so hopefully that'll come out. Anyway, it's originally from a company called Style & Co. It's in an extra large, and I got it for $4.99, which a jacket for $4.99 is really good. I may be realizing why it was so inexpensive, but oh well. Kind of like an oversized jacket. It's got the faux shirling on the sleeves as well. It doesn't have any of the faux shirling inside, which I really like because sometimes that can get kind of sweaty. It does actually zip all the way up. So like even to like the neck, which I probably won't do. Then I ended up going to Goodwill, which the Goodwill, I didn't really have that much. I just wanted to take a look at their sweaters. I didn't realize that today is Thursday, which is their $1 Thursday sale. And there were a lot of people. I like walked in and I was like, man, why are there so many people? And then I realized it. So this one was not $1, unfortunately. It just looks like this. It's just a button up kind of purple blue color. It's originally from LL Bean and it is in a large. It's made with quite a thick sweater material. It's definitely not thin. And this color I don't really have. Oh, it has shoulder pads. How interesting. I've never seen a sweater with shoulder pads. The buttons are very interesting. I'll insert what they look like. Did not realize that. Anyway, I just thought it was nice and chunky. I love cardigans. I only own one cardigan. I didn't try it on, so hopefully it works. Then for the things that I got at Plato's Closet, I have said it before. Before, I really try not to go to Plato's Closet often because they do buy the clothes from customers. So I mean, it's a little bit skewed. It's not necessarily like a traditional thrift store, which means they usually have some pretty trendy, cool clothes. And if you are kind of intimidated by the thrifting scene, it's always a great option if you do have one by you. Saying that, I always end up spending too much money because they are a little bit overpriced because they can. I got some sweaters. I got some jeans, it was just a good time. So the first thing I ended, oh, how much did I spend? I think like $67, honestly, I'm not proud of that. It's because the jeans I got were like almost 20, which they were just such great mom jeans that like I obviously needed more. The first thing I got were these shorts, which are so awesome. And I'm so happy they fit and they like, okay, I'm like getting ahead of myself. They look like this. They are these plaid, almost cor corduroy shorts and they're just so interesting. They're originally from a company called Liz Sport Petite. They are in a size 10 and they were $12. Oh my gosh, they're just like this forest green. I find sometimes with these type of shorts, they like bunch up at the lower stomach region and these ones don't do it. So I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. And this with a sweater, oh. I then ended up getting a t-shirt, um, which ended up being $12 and it was originally from Forever 21 and it just looks like this. It's very plain Jane. Shouldn't have been $12, but I bought it anyway. And the thing that I liked about it is it has the puff sleeves on the side and then it kind of um, bunches up at the boob area. And I just thought it was really cute. It almost has like every single trend that's really big for tops in it, so I, I had to get it. I ended up getting two sweaters, which I was really happy that I went to the other thrift stores because at Savers, they just really did not have that many sweaters. And I don't know if they're still trying to get rid of their summer inventory, but half the store is Halloween. So I feel like they would have more sweaters. But anyway, I ended up first getting this sweater. Is it mauve, purple, pink? Anyway, it's originally from Toby. It is in a large and it was $10. The distress look, it's kind of oversized. I could tuck it in. I definitely would have to wear some sort of bralette or tank top under it because it is quite low in the v-neck. I'm so happy it actually worked out because it's made with such a nice soft material but does not shed and is not itchy. I just feel like it's a different kind of sweater and I thought it was cool. The next sweater is kind of weird. It's almost kind of cropped and it kind of has like a bat wing effect. It's originally from a company called Stockholm Atelier and it is in a medium and I got it for $10. It's cream. I have so many cream sweaters literally one of my favorite type of sweaters. I just feel cream is just so nice in a sweater. It kind of has a little bit of a turtleneck. I really like this bunched up turtleneck effect. I think it's so cool. It is a little itchy. Literally everything that I try to avoid with a sweater, this one has, but I don't even care because I do really, really like it. It has quite wide sleeves and it comes down quite a lot as well, but then it is cropped. I like the entire thing and even the bottom. Oh, it has like different type of stitching at the bottom. And then I got some jeans and these jeans Mm, they were $18 and I'm telling you I was in the dressing room like you don't need them Alexa Why are you gonna buy them Alexa? Don't do it Alexa. Give them the money for it because you do love
love them. They're originally from Gap. They are a little bit tight, so that's the only thing. They just really like, hmm. And I'm usually used to more oversized denim, but they're just such a nice deep wash. And I felt like this wash would be perfect for fall. I ended up getting like a $5 off discount because I buy so much at Plato's Closet. And so it ended up in my head being only $13, which made me feel a little bit better about it. It does say it is in a seven slash eight. It's nice and high waisted. I just was thinking about all the sweaters I could wear with it because I don't have that many jeans. Well, now I do because I've been like thrift flipping them that fit really nice at the waist without a belt. Whereas this one just fits so perfect. I know I've made kind of fall videos, but I feel like this this one was like my first real fall video, even though it's still hot. Thrifting fall clothes is definitely my favorite fall and winter. I feel like that's where thrift stores really kind of shine. Although my specific thrift store didn't do that great in the sweater department. I'll give it like two weeks and fingers crossed, they got some good stuff. If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexsunshine83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots.